Welcome back to Clever TV, everyone. I'm Jocelyn Davis, hanging out on the Wizards of Waverly playset with one of our favorites. It's Greg Sulkin. Thanks for having us today on this last day of shooting. I know, it's kind of emotional. It's bittersweet to be ending again. Well, did you ever think that you would be coming back in the first place? I never thought we'd be coming back so soon. You know, I thought maybe years down the line we could do a reunion for the fans. Mm -hmm. But a year later, we're doing a a reunion literally for the fans so uh, I hope they enjoy it. So okay bring us up to speed what are we going to be seeing in this special episode? Well a lot of special effects more okay. than ever. Um, the relationship between Mason and Alex is kind of developed from high school sweethearts to pretty much acting like a married couple. And okay. We'll do pretty much anything for each other so that's been nice. Um, and there's also been, you know, there's some conflict too and drama throughout the uh, throughout the episode. Because We've, I've heard mention of a hot Italian that's trying to move in on your lady. What's this all about? We don't talk about him. <laughs> so is there a love triangle or like a love square or circle or I, something I would, happening here? I wouldn't say a love triangle. I would just think that, you know, Alex is a very pretty girl. So the guys may be attracted to her, but if you're a werewolf, you just shoot them off. It's fine. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you use your werewolf powers, yeah, I right? Will, I wolf up. You'll see me wolf up. Well, the cool thing is that we're being transported to Italy. Yeah. Which must have been incredible. Well, when I first uh, heard that we were going to Italy, I was very excited. You know, I'll go tour Italy, but then we ended up in Santa Clarita. <laughs> Not too shabby. Yeah, no, lovely. And... Um, but yeah, no, so, so the sets are all new, apart from obviously the family set. So uh, so that's been fun, kind of being with the same cast and being on the same show, but with different sets. Right, so you mentioned that the relationship between your character and Alex has really developed to more like a married couple now. Um, what is that like? All the guys out there want to know, like, what's it like playing Selena Gomez's boyfriend well, I mean, for the second time? <laughs> yeah, for the second time. I mean, Selena's, uh, you know, she's executive producing this. Um, so see, she's your boss. Kind Pretty of. much, but she, you know, she's she's also a friend, and and she hasn't overstepped any boundaries or made anyone feel, you know, weird. You know, she's right. been she's she's dealt with the executive producing credit with such poise and such intelligence, and she was so humble about it. You know, after all, this is her idea, so we, you know, we're happy to be back. You know, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be doing this. So. Right? Were you surprised when you first got word that this was going to happen so soon? Yeah, I called everyone, and apparently there was, you know, apparently it was happening. So, you know, it took a few months to get going. Everyone's schedule was a bit all over the place, but now we did it and we fitted it in with everyone's schedule, so that's nice. You've been working on so many awesome projects. Of course, we have loved seeing you on another one of our favorite shows, Pretty Little Liars. Will you be returning? I hear you will be after will the be. new year. Yeah, I will be. Uh, I think the second half of the third season comes out mm -hmm. after the new year. Yes. And it just got picked up for a fourth season too, so... So, so what's that been like, working on that show? Uh, it's been fun, you know, most of my scenes have been with Lucy Hale, mm -hmm. um, who, again, has been so welcoming on set and also with Ian and stuff. Um, but as you get, as the season progresses, you'll see Wesley's past a bit more. You'll see why he is in Rosewood and kind of, you know, what's his intentions. Nothing is ever as it seems in Rosewood. No, definitely not. It's a dangerous place. I don't know why anyone goes there. I do. Honestly. I mean, a lot of girls watch it. You know? <laughs> so maybe that's why. I, I, think they, I think they just like drama. Oh, I don't know. they do, they do. And you're also going to be working on another fun project during the holiday season. What can you share with us? I can share that I've been watching these people um, on screen for years, and I'm going to be working with them. So that's amazing. It hasn't really sunk in yet. Mm -hmm. I think when I obviously meet them on set, I'm going to be like, oh my god, like this is insane. Um, so I'm excited to do that. We're going to shoot in Wales and also Barcelona. Oh. So it's a tough gig. Tough Amazing. Life. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And, and, and then also, obviously, I went to New York in you know in the summer. Shot a movie called Affluenza, mm -hmm. um, which was a lot of fun. And when can we see that? Uh, that's being edited right now. I saw some clips from it the other day. It looked really, really good. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm not the director. Busy I guy. Just, so I mean, what hurdle do you want to jump over next? Like, what's your next big goal that you want to meet? A bigger hurdle than I already jumped over. That's always the goal, yeah. you know? Well, Greg, it's always Thank good you. to see you. Congratulations Thank on this you. special episode. And you guys, make sure to stick with Clever TV for all the latest on Greg Sulkin and his many, many projects. Thank you. See you later.